What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute legs and butt workout. So grab your heavy dumbbells and let's get to work. What's up guys? So excited that you're here for our 40 minute legs and butt workout. Before we get started, it is a heavy dumbbell day. So grab your heavy dumbbells. I've got 20s and 15s. We're gonna be isolating one side of the body at a time. So we've got lunges, we've got squats, we've got Romanian deadlifts. And then at the end, we're gonna do a glute burnout, but we'll use just one dumbbell at a time for that one. So lunges, overhead holds, reverse lunge, Romanian deadlift. Grab your heavy dumbbells or a couple options. Also, amazing news before we get started, we have restocked our apparel because so thankful to say we have run out. So we restocked all our apparel, all of it is in, and actually, I should give you a glimpse of what it looks like. Hmm. Check it out. So, here's the first one, one of our best sellers. It's the black one with the thick logo and the script on the back. I should probably show you our other colors too. Whoop. And this is my personal favorite, the black one with the outline, the thinner outline. Has a logo on the back and we have some red ones as well. Check it out. And here's the red one. This is a thicker Royal Change logo with the script on the back. Also Razorback, another one of your all's favorites. And another red design, this is the Thin Outline logo. This one has the symbol on the back, the Royal Chain symbol, also the Razorback. You guys are gonna love this one just as much. And finally, our white tank. I think you guys are gonna love this one as well. Now, let's get to the workout. So, hopefully you like that. Hopefully you got a better feel about what our apparel looks like if you haven't gone to the website to check it out yet. I love the black one personally, and you guys seem to love the red one as well. So whatever fits your style, we also have t-shirts as well. And Dustin tells me he has a surprise design coming up soon. Pretty sure it has something to do with our hashtag here, but we will see what he comes up with. So let me know if you guys will be interested in that, and we'll get started with our workout, okay? Make sure you go out into the description before you head out. Take advantage of those sales that are going on with the apparel, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave, okay? Let's jump into the workout first. We're gonna start with just single leg quad stretches in two, one, here we go. So just pull one glute or one heel up to your glute at a time. There we go. We're starting with a squat combo. Okay, and the way this workout is gonna go today, um, it's not a Tabata workout, but we're gonna do Short period of work, starting with 20 seconds. All right, nice and wide. Bend one leg at a time. We're gonna start with 20 seconds of work per exercise. Rest for 15, then we're going to 30 seconds of work. Rest for 15, and then we're going to 40 seconds of work. And then we're gonna rest for 20 before that next exercise. Or sorry, rest for 30 before the next exercise. Okay, so we'll start out 20 seconds. Second round is 30 seconds. Last round is that burnout round for 40 seconds. Take your hips straight back and squeeze forward. Let's activate the glutes and stretch the hamstrings on the way down. Woo. You guys ready for this one today? You know I love a good leg workout. You know I like the heavy leg workouts. So I'm excited for this one. Excited that you're here with me. Excited to be so close to 20,000 subscribers. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I promise it's gonna be worth your time, okay? Every single day I post a workout and I post in a way that you can follow every day. So we're not gonna do four leg workout days in a row, right? It's gonna be upper body, total body, legs, abs, cardio. So by subscribing, you are subscribing to basically your own workout plan with your own personal trainer every single day. And that's my mission, to give you something that is sustainable, reliable, dependable, and consistent, just like you need to be to get those results. Okay, so I have a goal. It's a tiny bit far-fetched, but I'm thinking if we keep growing like we are, let's go into butt kicks. My 28th birthday is on September 8th, 2018. So we may be able to pull off a 28,000 subscribers by September 28th. So if you guys can share this workout video, share this channel with all your friends, we're gonna try to get there, but we're gonna keep on climbing. <sighs> September 8th. All right, cross your arms over your body. 
Dustin just corrected me. He said I said September 28th. My birthday is on the 8th. 28,000 subscribers is the goal. Okay, that's going to be a tough goal, but if we're going to work together, we can do this. Okay? Grab your heavy dumbbells. Your first exercise, we're going to start with that 20 second round. It's going to be sumo squat to front squat. Looks like this. Sumo, pull them up, front squat. Drop them down. Okay, 20 seconds, let's go. Sumo and front squat. Drop, sumo and front. Now keep a nice tight core. There you go. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, 15 seconds of rest. Drop your dumbbells down. We're moving into that 30 second round in five seconds, okay? Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Here we go, two, one, 30 seconds of work, let's go. Front squat, sumo squat. Make sure you're digging your heels down into the floor. That's it. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Whew. Good job, we've got a 40 second round. If you need to modify down to a lighter weight, you can do that. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's do it. 40 seconds. As you can see, my abs, when I go down there, bracing, hard, okay? Not to let my lower back arch over or to take all the weight. <sighs> 20 seconds to go. You can do this. Take your time. It is heavy and it's intentionally heavy. <sighs> because you are strong, that's why it's heavy. Come on, seven, six, <sighs> three, two, one, amazing, you've got 30 seconds rest. So that's how our workout's gonna go today. Whew, already out of breath. Whew. So we've got 30 seconds rest. Your next exercise is gonna be a single arm lunge. Okay, so this one, you can grab the lighter of the two dumbbells. You're gonna start with it in your right hand, okay? Keep your right leg up top, and you're gonna take it back for 20 seconds. So let's go together. Reverse lunge, stacking your arm over the leg that is out front. Seven seconds. Good job, rest. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Good work, you guys doing okay so far? Okay, so we're staying with that same arm. Don't switch sides yet, we will get there. Three, two, one, 30 second round, here we go. Keep a nice tight core, keep a nice tall spine. I like to put my hand on my hip here to make sure that my hips stay straight. That means my core is doing its job. Not letting my hips swivel. Not pushing really hard off that back leg. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Okay, 15 seconds rest. Then we're going back for that 40 second round. Same arm, okay? Same arm, same leg. We're gonna keep it on the right side for the next two exercises after this as well. Okay, three, two, one, right side, let's go back, up. Now dig that front heel down into the floor and make sure your knee is not coming over your front toe. If you're here, see how my knee shoots over my toe? Not good, you're not utilizing the right kind of muscles or the right muscles. You're putting your knee in jeopardy. Okay, we wanna keep everything injury free. So dig that heel down. That's it. Got about 10 seconds left here. You can do it, you can do it. 
two, one, and rest. Great job. You've got 30 seconds rest. Keep your dumbbell in the same exact hand, okay? Your next move is gonna be a lateral lunge. We're rocking this same right leg, okay? I'm mirroring you, so you go to the right, I'll go to my right, okay? So reaching inside here, all right? Okay, here we go in seven seconds. Remember, when you sit down, push your butt backwards, your dumbbell goes inside that leg. Two, one, 20 seconds, let's go. So this 20 second round, kind of get the feel for the move. Once you do, speed it up, it's only 20 seconds. This other leg over here, stay straight, it is doing nothing at all. Two, one, rest. Okay, rest for 15. Remember, same side, going right back to the right. So it is kind of an interval workout, I guess, but we're not coming back to the workout. After we do the three exercises, we're done with that one. Okay, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds here. Good, sit and stand. Bring your hips all the way back forward. There you go. And if you're going outside your leg, it's gonna be a little bit harder to keep your knee out. That's why I say go inside. That way your knee will stay out. There you go. Two, one, rest. Okay, 15 seconds rest. We've got that last 40 second round. If you need to drop your dumbbell, shake it out, you can. Whew. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Let's do it, down, together. You know the move by now. Okay, so don't hang out at the bottom. Don't hang out at the top too long. Just keep moving. This workout is about getting stronger. It may not be one of our highest calorie burning workouts. It's a different initiative. It's a different objective. Okay, and that's what you need in a fitness journey. You need strength and you need conditioning. They're just going hand in hand. That's the maximum equation for fat loss. Four, three, two, one. Amazing, you've got 30 seconds rest. Pay attention to the hand that you're holding the dumbbell in. You're going right back to that hand, okay? Right arm, right leg. I know it's this way. So now we're on the same side. Right arm, right leg, okay? Your next move is gonna be a single leg Romanian deadlift and I want you to try and go on the same side. Right arm, right leg, okay? So you're here and up, here and up. Okay, if you need to switch hands to balance, that's okay, you can do that, okay? Two, one, let's go. Try going on the same side. If it doesn't work out for you, just go back to the opposite side. All I wanna focus on is the right leg. Okay, modification here. Take your toe back, just place it on the ground for balance, and then come back up to the top, okay? Still keeping the hip hinge going. Oops. Two, one, and rest. 15 seconds rest. Now we're going to our 30 second round. Again, same right leg working. Okay, whatever hand you're holding it in, doesn't matter. Just keep the right foot on the ground, okay? Two, one, let's go. Deadlift, reach the hips back, squeeze those cheeks forward. And different people do different things with their arms as well. So if you want it on your hip, you want it out to the side, whatever works for you. Keep that dumbbell close to your shin on the way down. That allows you to sit your butt back a lot farther. Good. Rest. All right, 15 seconds rest. We're going for that 40 second round. Okay, same thing, right arm, or I mean right leg is down. Whatever arm works for you, just keep your right leg down. Two, one, 40 seconds, let's work. Reach and squeeze. Keep your hips facing forward, keep your belly button right in line with your toe when you go down. That's where your center of gravity is, right in your belly button. So if it's lined up with where the basis of your weight is, it's gonna help for a whole lot better stabilization. And we all have a leg that's a little less balanced than the other. For instance, this is mine. <laughs> 10 seconds. 
It's all right, I just gotta focus a little harder and work a little harder on this side. Don't use this as an excuse, just use it as a focus point. Rest, good job. Okay, 30 seconds rest, and we're going back to the overhead lunges. So now we're switching to the left leg. Left leg for the next three exercises. So if you recall, we were here, up overhead, left arm has the dumbbell, left leg stays here. We're reaching back into a lunge, okay? Got about five seconds and we'll go together. Two, one, let's do it. Dumbbell up, same side leg stays there. 20 seconds of work. You know the move so you can crank them out. Yes, there we go. Breathe, don't let your breath stop. Two, one, rest. Okay, drop it if you need to. I need you to breathe as you work, okay? Don't stop and go, right? Keep breathing. It's just as important for your body as knowing the right technique, okay? Let's go. Round number two, we're at 30 seconds here. There's a really great connection between your core muscles and your breathing. So your core knows when to brace and when to kind of relax. Like at the top, you're a little relaxed and you're breathing out, right? When you go down and you breathe in, your belly braces itself. Feel that? Ready and rest. So that's why breathing is so important. It's gonna help stabilize everything. It's gonna help you continue further along without getting so out of breath. Okay, five seconds. We're going for that 40 second round. And two, one, let's go. Down, up. Are you using your heavy dumbbell? Can you? If you're not right now, pick it up. Let's do it. It's your last round of overhead lunges. Good job, last 20 seconds right here. That's it, 10. Come on, we can do it. Three, two, one. 30 seconds rest, great job. Woo. Shake that arm out. You remember the next exercise? Lateral lunges, left hand, left leg. I know this is backwards for you. Just go to your left, okay? You're going inside your leg. Okay, you got about 13 seconds and we'll go together. All right, grab it left hand. Three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of work. The good, thing new, the good news or the good thing about this one, your arm's just kind of relaxing. Great job, four, three, big push, two, one, and rest for 15. Good work. I want you to make sure you go all the way through that time, okay? Whew. All right, big deep breath. I know you need it. Me too. Two, one, let's hit that 30 second round. Here we go. You get a little longer. The burn gets a little bit more intense. And then you max out on 40 seconds and you're done with that exercise. 15 more seconds. Good job. Six, five, come on, push out of the bottom. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, Woo. 15 seconds rest, we've got our 40 second round. And then we're going back to single leg Romanian deadlifts. Left leg, but four, three, two, last round here, lateral lunges, 40 seconds. Crank them out, you can do it. Sit down on your heel. I don't want to see anyone on their toes. Okay, this leg over here, you should be grounded in your heel. You've got the ability to shoot your butt back as far as you can because you have a counterbalance out front here. You have the weight out front. So you can sit your butt back. Now, try to get parallel with the floor with your thigh. 90 degrees here. Eight, seven. 
four, three, two, last one. Rest, great job. 30 seconds rest. Whew. You can tell I'm passionate about leg workouts, right? <laughs> I'll give like 87,000 technical cues in a leg workout. And I am passionate about legs. I'm passionate about anything where your form is something I know that a lot of people maybe make this mistake sometimes. I've seen it, I do a lot of personal training so I know kind of where your body will tend to go when it gets tired. Whew. So, that's why I preach so much in these exercises. All right, left leg down, single leg deadlift. Ready, and I'll give you a little bit extra rest. Four, three, two, one, 20 seconds. So let's work. Down, whatever hand you're holding it in, whichever one works best for you, left leg is down. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Some people like to hold it with opposite side, but make sure when you go down that you're not doing this with your dumbbell. It stays nice and close to your leg, okay? Five seconds, three, two, one. Let's hit that 30 second round. Here we go. Sit your hip back and swing it forward with your glutes. We've got a really great glute burnout at the end. Your choice whether or not you wanna use dumbbells but just know they're being activated right now. They're getting warmed up for that ending. 10 more seconds. Dig all your toes down into the floor. Two, one, rest. Okay, rest for 15. Last round of single leg deadlifts for 40 seconds. Whew. And then we're gonna go to some kneeling stand-ups. I'll show you when we get there. Whew. All right, two, one, let's go. Last round. Reach and squeeze. Activate that glute by digging your heel into the floor. Feel how much more you can work your glute if you dig your heel down? Yes, take advantage, come on. 15 seconds, let's do it. Reach, 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 squeeze it forward. Keep a flat back, don't let your shoulder blades relax. They are drawn in together to keep your back flat. <sighs> Dig your toes down, four, three, two, give me one more, and rest, great job. Okay, throw your dumbbells out of the way. 30 seconds rest. You can grab some water towel off if you need to. Hmm. Pretty excited, we just took a big load of shirts out of here to ship out. So I got to watch that while we were getting ready to film. So it got me pumped up. So thankful for you guys. Okay, next exercise. Come on down to the floor on your knees, hands on your hips in 20 seconds, for 20 seconds. You're gonna stand and drop, okay? Come with me in three, two, one, let's go. And drop. And if you wanna make this more difficult, you can always hold a dumbbell. I'll show you this first round, just to keep technique the most important part. Two, one, rest. Okay, 15 seconds rest. If you wanna grab that dumbbell, you can. A modification, drop down into the squat, tap your knee up. Tap your knee up, okay? That's totally fine. Two, one, 30 second round, let's go. job. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so take note of which leg you were bringing up first on those last two rounds, probably your stronger leg. Okay, this time I want you to bring the other leg up first, okay? Three, two, one, 40 second round, let's go. This might be your weaker leg. And if you need to, you can always double your mat up here or place a towel under your knees. But you remember, you are in control. 
There you go. Last 20 seconds. Lower with control. Stand and stay low. 15. This is your last round. Nine, eight, keep your belly button straight. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. 30 seconds rest. Whew. That one flew by, huh? All right. Big deep breath. 30 seconds rest. Next one is gonna be switch jumps. No dumbbells on this one. Okay. 10 seconds, you're gonna come down, high plank position, bring one foot up, pop your hips up, and switch. And switch, okay? I know you guys remember these. Two, one, let's go. Left leg up, hop and switch, hop and switch. Now the closer, or the faster you can go, I should say, the more effective. If you need to modify, step, step back together. Step, and step, okay? Five, Two, one, rest. Okay, 20 second round is done. <sighs> yes, breathe. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, four, three, two, one. Here's our 30 second round, let's go. That's it, come on, come on. Whew. 15. Like I said, if you're modifying, just slow it down. Whew. Six, five, two, one, rest. Oh boy, the body weight ones get us sweating, huh? Good job. <sighs> okay, about seven seconds, and we're going for that 40 second round. If you need to slow it down, you can, but try to come right back in. Ready, let's go. If you slow it down, it doesn't mean you have to stay slow the whole time. Good, let's go. Touch, touch. Try to catch a beat with yourself. Left, right, left, right. Whew. Last 15 seconds. <sighs> Almost there. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Oh boy. 30 seconds rest, guys. Grab some water. I think I'll skip the water and just towel off on this one. <sighs> okay, this is your last quad heavy exercise. Okay? That's some optimism. After this, we're switching to a glute burnout. All right, so pretty simple. Your hands are gonna go on your hips. Your feet are wider than your mat, so wider than hip width. You're going down, squat jump, and squat jump. Okay, come with me. Two, one, let's go. As soon as you get back, go forward. Don't stop in transition. I want you to keep that muscle under tension the whole time. Five, three, two, one, rest. Okay, 20 second round done. Whew. The 20 goes by fast. I feel like it gives you a little kickstart, a little optimism. Whew. All right. Two, one, let's go. 30 second round. So you're not going super high, but you are moving constantly. There you go. Breathe as you go. Come on, 15 seconds. It's quad heavy, I know. But this is it for the quads. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew. Shake them out. Walk back and forth. 10 more seconds, we're going for the 40 second round and your quads are done. Don't let yourself say this is too hard. It's not, you are capable. Two, one, 40 seconds, let's rock together, come on. Just keep going. 
Be ready to switch directions, go. Get forward and back. The farther you can stay low, the better. Keep rocking, Energizer Bunny status right here. You got 15 seconds, I know you can keep going for 15. You know that you can, let's be honest. 10 more seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo, amazing, good job. Okay, come on down, let's lay it down on your mat. Okay, this one, no breaks here for the next couple minutes. All right, we're going 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay, so whew, let me catch my breath first. Come on down onto your mat. Your first minute is gonna be just a regular glute bridge. Okay, you're going up and you're gonna hold for two. One, two, down. One, two, down. Okay. Give me one minute of that, starting in two. One, let's go. One, two, down. Okay, so you know the exercise. If you wanna grab a dumbbell, one, two, down, and throw it on your hips. Let's do it. Hold on to your dumbbell. One, two, down. Now you're just tapping the floor for a second. One, two, down. One, two, down. Good job, last 30 seconds. I know you can do it, come on. One, two, down. One, two, down. Yes, if you have some weight on your hips, keep rocking. You've already selected it. <laughs> You've already made it happen. Good, three, two, one. Pause for 10 seconds. All right, move your dumbbell out of the way. You're putting your right leg on the floor, left leg going right over top here. You're gonna bridge, ready? Let's go. Bridge, bridge. Got one minute right here. You will feel this in your hamstring and in your glute. And especially where they tie in, right where they hit together. That really hard spot to hit, right? Right at the bottom of your butt, top of your leg. There's that tricky spot. These single leg bridges are really the best exercise for them. Okay, 30 more seconds. Let's go. Bridge and sit. I'll have you stop 10 seconds early into each round to explain your next exercise. Seven more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Rest for 10. You're just switching legs here, okay? Going to the other side. Okay, other ankle on your other knee. Three, two, one. Ready, let's go. Bridge and sit. And you have that option. Grab a dumbbell if you want. It needs to be on the side where your leg is supported. Okay, so the leg that's on the ground, that side. And I just want you to squeeze. You don't have to over-exaggerate the hip extension here. I just want you to squeeze. Get it as flat as you can, but don't get so high that you're like arching your back super high, okay? Not good for the low back. So just give me an extension, dig the heel down, squeeze as hard as you can, and keep rocking. That's it. 10 more seconds. Up, down, up, down. Good, four, three, two, one. Both legs on the floor, grab that dumbbell, put it back on your hips. You're gonna stay up for this minute. Your knees are gonna go out. One, two, three, okay? One minute, let's go. Dig the heels down. Just a tiny movement. You're moving about two or three inches, okay? If this feels strange, if you feel any kind of tightness in your knees, okay, just hold that bridge up. Don't want anyone compromising your form. This is tough. Another option, of course, just drop that dumbbell. Okay, if you need it, it's there. Yes, 
Come on, come on. 10 more seconds. You're gonna drop your butt down in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Move that dumbbell out of the way. Put the arches or the soles of your shoes together. Your next minute is gonna be a frog pump. Hands down, lift, and lower. Ready? <laughs> oh boy, let's go. Woo. Already shaking on the first rep. I'm with you. It's kind of a slow, steady burnout, like I promised. Squeeze the cheeks together underneath, right? I saw something on Instagram yesterday that it said, this is the symbol, the universal symbol for squeeze your cheeks together. Squeeze them together. <laughs> Good job. Whew. Almost there. 13, 12, 11. Whew. Good, give me a couple more. Three, two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. We're going back to just your regular glute bridges for one minute. This is the last round, okay? Whew. Grab your dumbbell if you can. Three, two, one. Let's go. Down. One, two, and down. One, two, down. Now there's a difference in lifting and lifting and squeezing. Get up to the top. I give you two seconds to squeeze hard. One, two, sit down. Good job, come on. This is it. This is it. Come on, come on. 15 seconds, let's go. Up, 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 down. Up, 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 down. You're going to your right leg, single leg bridge. Three, two, one. Drop that dumbbell off. Just the right leg. Okay, you can keep your foot crossed, or if you want, just leave this leg up in the air. Okay, last round of the right leg. Two, one, let's go. Go up and down, up and down. Quality over quantity here. Make them good. Don't make them fast and sloppy. I'm with you. Heel down and sit. Heel, 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 sit. Hands are down by your side. Push into the floor. Good job. Give me 20 more seconds and you're done with the right leg. Down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. Come on, squeeze tighter, bridge higher, 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, 10 seconds to switch your legs over, left leg glute bridge only, Whew. three, two, one, let's do it. Lift high, good job. Good. You got that leg up top, make sure it's stacked right over your hip. Okay, if it's down here and you're kind of swinging up, you're mostly using momentum. So make sure it's either crossed over this top leg or stacked straight up over your hip. Okay, Whew. 20 seconds, let's go. Down, squeeze high. Down, squeeze high. Okay, last 10, here we go. Higher, come on. Whew. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, nine seconds. You've got the bridge opener, with or without the dumbbells. You're going up, staying up. Open, open. Ready, let's go. Open, open. I'm gonna leave my dumbbell down for this one to make sure I can stay up here with you guys. The whole minute. Close your eyes. Just breathe. Open, open. You feel this in your lower back. Squeeze your cheeks tighter. Okay, I need you to dig your heels down more. And maybe don't open and close, just squeeze. Okay, you should feel nothing in your lower back. When you're open and close, it's not like a drastic open and close either. You're just staying here. Two inches in and out, tiny, 
Tiny. That's it. Seven more seconds. Go six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your butt down. Throw the soles of your shoes together. This is it, guys. Take a big deep breath for me. Know that you can do this. Two, one. Lift those hips up. Go up and down. Up and down. Last minute. Good. Good job. Good. Come on, come on. 25. Keep it up there with me. Squeeze tight. Go up and down. Keep rocking with me. Don't stop. I know you're shaking. I am too. 10 seconds. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Straighten your legs out. Come on up to a seated position and reach forward. We're going right into that cool down, guys. Whew. Reach, reach, reach out to the front. <sighs> Amazing job. You've made it through your legs and glutes workout today. <sighs> Go ahead and cross one ankle over your knee and push towards your face. <sighs> you did great today. I'm proud of you. That was a heavy one. It was a different format. So let me know what you thought of the 20, 30, 40 format. Okay. Go ahead and switch. Come on up to standing position. Whew, good work. All right, pull your heel to your glute. Let's stretch out your quads. I know you worked your quads really good. Whew. Pull your belly button in. If you need to grab a wall, you can. Just try to put your belly button right over your foot. That's what always works for me. I think belly button lined up with the heel. All right, go ahead and switch. Just a couple more seconds. Make sure you guys take advantage of the sales that are going on now with that apparel. I wanna get this apparel to as many people as we can. We are working on international shipping, possibly going to a new printing company um, just for that international shipping advantage. So we are working on that. Promise, I promise, promise. Whew. All right, one more fold forward. Whew. And give yourself a round of applause. You did amazing today. Hopefully your legs are feeling great and make sure you keep stretching. With the legs, there's normally a two day delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS for short. I don't really think that's like a great abbreviation, but two days later, you will probably feel this um, if you're not already feeling it now and the next day. So make sure you don't ignore the opportunity to keep stretching, to keep moving. I will have a great workout for you tomorrow. We're not gonna be using only the legs for the whole workout, so don't worry. Make sure you subscribe before you head out. I can't wait to keep bringing you guys high quality workouts. It's gonna make your fitness journey so much more easy, so much easier and so much more accessible wherever you are in the world. All right, thank you for letting me lead you through this workout today. Make sure you share and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll give you a couple more options at the end, at the end screen, so check it out. Have an awesome day. See you guys. Thank you.